The neighborhoods are still a mess tonight of broken trees that destroyed homes. Atlanta News first Bridget Spencer is live tonight in East Point. So Bridget, an apartment building there really no match for Helene. Right, we are talking about some massive trees crashing onto several homes. Take a look at this apartment building here behind me. You can see this huge tree that came plummeting into this apartment building. And actually, we're told that that family is okay. I just, in fact, spoke to the man who lives here. And this is something that we've been seeing across Metro Atlanta today. The sound of this horn going off with no driver in sight early Friday morning seems like just a malfunction. But in hindsight, Brennan Spinello thinks it was something more. Uh, I've been having some car trouble and all of a sudden my horn started going off. Moments later, his neighbor's tree comes crashing down onto both of their homes. My truck brought us outside. It was like a straight from God saying, get outside. This is where my kids were. Inside the home was Emerald Cullens, her children, including her five month old and her mother-in-law who was visiting from another state. Where she was at in the house, we couldn't save her from the inside. Spinello and his wife immediately sprang into action to help get the family out. The neighbors next door were the first out of their house screaming for help. Uh, the floor caved in and we couldn't get the door open. So we went to the window outside. I took a chair and broke the window open. Atlanta Fire was able to help get the woman out and get her to Grady. This has been happening across Metro Atlanta as Helene saturated the ground. Fern Marshall's 96 year old mother was inside when a tree came crashing down in her Southeast Atlanta home. The tree had uprooted and fell knocked our little house down and fell on the uh, back patio porch. And luckily it didn't hit the window. Emerald Cullen says her family is temporarily displaced, but keeps in mind that property can be replaced. Family cannot. My community and my family did come together today. So that's the only reason why I'm able to be calm right now. And back here live, as you can see, there is still a whole lot of debris left out here in this parking lot. This shows that crews still have their work cut out for them. And this certainly is showing that the storm may be gone, but the recovery effort, well, that's only just beginning. We're live in East Point. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.